Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 1422 maximum score after splitting a string. This is an easy level problem on LeetCode. I'm going to solve it in JavaScript. For this prompt, we are giving a function that takes in a string of s. And this string can only consists of zeros and ones. And it wants us to return the maximum score after splitting the string into two non-empty substrings. So we have to split it to a left substring and a right substring. And we want to know when we split them, we want to get the score of each one. So the score is identified by the left side being zero and the right side being one. So for example, we have this string here and we split it here. Let's say we, we're going to have to test each one of them. So we split it here and the left side has a zero. So that means they get one point. And the right side has four ones in it. So they get four points, one and four. So the total is five. And then we do it again for the, this, this part. So for the left side, they have one point for the zero. And the right side, they have three, two, three. Um, and then you add it, three plus one is four. So they get a four score. So we find the score for each possible way we can split it. And then we take the maximum of that score and we return that maximum score. So how we're going to solve this is that we will have to create a, a max score variable. OK, and then after that, we create a left score variable. And then I'll create a right score variable. And then the idea is the max score will be the max of whatever the possible combination of left score and right score is. And to get these left score and right score, we're going to have to loop through, through S. And in the first iteration of the loop, we're going to have to loop through twice. We're going to find the ones on the right side. And then I'll show you why it's important when we do the second part. So we're going to create find if condition if value is equal to one, we increment. And now we have to loop through S again. until second to last. And we want to go to the second and last because we're going to adjust this. So if we see a one, we'll minus it. And then if we see a zero, we'll add it. And then we'll find the max score of each one. And we'll only go up to this last one because the right side will be the one where we have it before. So it can't be a non-empty string. So once we do this, we have the condition if value is equal to one, but then delete this. Instead of incrementing, we decrement it. Okay, that means same either. And then else value is equal to zero. And there's only two possible ones, so we don't need an else, else if like that. We increment the left score. And, that. and then we find the max score between the right square plus left square at each one. And then we just return max score. I'll type this out if condition if max score is less than left score plus right score max score is equal to left square versus right square. All right. So to code it out, first we create the max variable. And we set it equal to zero. Let left score equal to zero. Let right score equal to zero. And now we loop through S for let i equal zero. i is less than s dot length i plus plus. 
and we create the condition if s index of i is equal to the string of one because these are strings not integers write score plus plus and then after that we loop through again for that i equals zero i's less than s dot length minus one because we need a we can't have any non-zero substrings i plus plus and we're going to go from the and we have it the right side from before we have to create the condition so if it's like this we decrement it else left score increment it and then we check for the new max score if max score is less than right score plus left score max score equals to this and we just return max score and that's it nice we got it so for the time complexity we know that we're looping through s here even though it's two loops it's still the same even though it's two loops it's not nested into each other so it's going to be o of n and then the space complexity constant variables constant constant so it's going to be o of one so that is how you solve this problem thank you